What up, that bro? Hey, man, I uh, wanted to come back at you, man, and, and just say that uh, on your response to your last video, man, about this giving, and um, I say you're on point. You're really on point with it, uh, Doc. Um, you see a lot of things that people say that uh, that apply to the children of Israel that don't apply in this day and time. And you know, I'm one that always, like I said, I, I never try to debate theology. But uh, I'm with you on this here, man. And, uh, why put a limit on giving God? Why 10% or 20% or 30%? Give him, give him your all. I mean, God realized that uh, in this world that we're living in, money is tell you in the scripture. Money answers all things, and we must, we must, you know, come on to grip with things, man. And like you said, you you give, you uh, know, you give, and, and you do videos, and I understand, man. I, I I've been there, done that. Oh. Uh, like you said, when you stand up late night and you're doing videos or you're doing learning songs and stuff, and I mean, I've been right there at the gridiron, Doc, with you on it. And spending countless hours, man, learning these songs and trying to make certain that you got them right so that you can in return give them to the choir. Teaching the voices. And I know my job my job seemed like it never ends, man. I go from like, not only being the minister of music, I mean, I'm just the director and I'm all of it. I'm wearing many hats and I have to teach all the voices and um, from the soprano part, the alto, tenor, you know, whatever. Then I have to do all of the other stuff and everything. And then sometimes it's not appreciated, you know, but nevertheless, we do it because it's our calling. And so, like I said, we can't beat God's giving, man. God gave us the ultimate gift, his son. I mean, he gave it all. Like you say, he didn't stop at 10%, and I'm glad he did. Because it'll take at least 95% just to get my little mess straight. But at any rate, man, I'm like, well, if you know, you, you do your best, and then you will have, God will make a way. God will always. God, God, God has used gold for pavement. And his gates on the city made out of pearl. So I'm like you now. He's not really worried about my little two cents. But it's the heart posture that God looked at. And I tell people, that's what it is. If you notice that when Jesus was talking about the rich young ruler, and he told him that he to sell all he had, and give to the poor, and he had riches in heaven, take up his cross and follow him. And he said that the boy went away sorrowful because he had a great possession. But you see, he if he just had a, stayed a little long and just listened at what Jesus had said, he he missed the whole thing. See, then in that same content, Jesus said, "No one that has given up houses, land, husband, wife, for his sake, that should not receive one hundredfold in this life." So you see, he wasn't asking him to give up anything. He was trying to give him more, abundant. See, it was the heart posture. See, this is what he said. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom. But people don't understand that. He's not saying, you know, and I think I heard you said it in a, on a prior video. He wasn't saying that you couldn't get in, a rich man couldn't get in. He said it'll be easier. For the camel to go through the eye of the needle. Well, first of all, you need to do a little research. Jerusalem got many gates. One gate is called the needle gate. And it is just wide enough for you to get your camel through. But you got to unload it. You got to unload the camel, then get your camel through. Then you bring your goods on in. After you get your camel through, reload your camel, and then you go on. See, this is what, what Jesus was saying is, how many people would you know will unload? <laughs> How many you know will unload? Jesus is not asking us to give up anything. He's not asking us to give up anything. He's asking us to, the heart posture, for us to be willing. 
See, that's the thing about it. We must be willing. Do we have our trust in riches? Or do we have our trust in him? That's what I believe is all about, dog. That's what I believe is all this is giving us about. It's the heart posture. Because as you notice in the widow's might, the woman she gave all she had. The rest of them was given out of their abundance. It's like I said, if I'm if all of my bills are paid and I'm up here with five or six hundred dollars in my wallet, it's not gonna hurt me, man, to give six dollars or to give sixty dollars. That's not gonna hurt me. But if I give four hundred, that's a sacrifice. See, this is what I feel like that the Lord requires. Like you were saying, dog, and I think you're on point with it. He deserves, he wants our all from the heart. If you're giving 50 cents and it's from the heart, it beats 50,000 if you're giving it grudgingly or out of necessity. This is the Midi Man, bro, saying peace and goodbye.